It do. blows my mind that like we were helping the cartels w- move drugs into the country while simultaneously enforcing drug drugs being illegal. What's who's we? Who was doing that? I mean, just us as a country. Like the CIA was letting cocaine come in. Yeah. And it, you know, and and then, but at the same time, the DEA was arresting drug traffickers. Right. How come? What is that? Jamie, chuck me one of them. Uh, picks? I think I. <clears throat> I think the cocaine was how the CIA was paying for s- certain stuff because it was money they didn't have to. It didn't have to be in the federal budget. You know what I mean? Well, that's definitely the case with uh, Oliver North. Right. That was the case in. Um, that was the case with uh, Freeway Ricky Ross in in Compton, in South Central LA, and uh, we found out about it because of this guy Michael Rupert, who was on the podcast back in the day. Um, Michael Rupert uh, was in that documentary Collapse. Did you ever see that documentary? Mm-mm. It's a documentary about the collapse of uh, peak oil and societal collapse because we're so dependent upon fossil fuels. It turned out to not be correct. But what he was predicting, but what he was right about was how dependent we are on fossil fuels. And he was detailing the supply chain. So he's sitting there. The whole documentary is him sitting there in this room on a folding chair, just smoking cigarettes and just telling you why all these things are a problem because they're all connected. And it's it's a very compelling documentary. Mm. Well, Michael Rupert was a narcotics officer in L.A., and he caught the CIA selling drugs in South Central LA and then exposed it on a hearing on CNN at like this big like town hearing. You ever seen this? Mm-mm. Jamie pulled up. It's wild. He was a really interesting guy. Last time I saw him, he gave me mushrooms. How did they, ca- how did they catch him? <laughs> how did he catch the CIA? Well, he was a narcotics officer. So he was arresting people for selling drugs. Here, play this. I am a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, and I work South Central Los Angeles, and I will tell you, Director Deutsch, emphatically and Can without equivocation... Can you speak further into the mic, sir? These mics don't seem to be... I, I will tell you, Director Deutsch, as a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, that the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. So that guy at the table is from the CIA. Wait a minute here. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you don't like what's going on here, please leave now. No, no, no. Leave. No, no, no. Leave now because there are others who do want to hear what's going on in this room. Will you please take your seats? I will come back to you as we roll back across to the center section. Director Deutsch, I will refer you to three specific agency operations known as Amadeus, Pegasus, and Watchtower. I have Watchtower documents heavily redacted by the agency. I was personally exposed to CIA operations and recruited by CIA personnel who attempted to recruit me in the late 70s to become involved in protecting agency drug operations in this country. I have been trying to get this out for 18 years, and I have the evidence. My question for you is very specific, sir. If, in the course of the IG's investigations and Fred Hitz's work, you come across evidence of severely criminal activity Let him speak and it's mic. classified, will you use that classification to hide the criminal activity or will you tell the American people the truth? All right, you want to hear the The director of the CIA. Wait, wait a minute. From your, from your, I'm sorry, sir. I will allow the director to speak first and then Congressman Julian Dixon. 
if you have information about CIA illegal activity in drugs, you should immediately bring that information to wherever you want, but let me suggest three places. The Los Angeles Police Department. <laughs> Wow, now you're playing in my face. Others want to hear this answer. I am sorry. Others want to hear this answer. It, it, it is your choice, the Los Angeles Police Department, the Inspector General, or uh, office of one of your Congress uh, persons from this. say something else if this information turns up wrongdoing if it turns up wrongdoing we will bring the people to justice and make them accountable All right, just imagine you think there's even a possibility that that's true we say if it's true <laughs> well if it's true i've heard rumblings Right. Well, just a medical question. Hey, bring it to one of the offices where we have people that work for us. Yeah, they'll definitely take care of it appropriately. <laughs> right. Bring I'm surprised, the I'm surprised they let him live. Him. Yeah, he was worried about it, too. Well, they but they know, see, they know that if they kill you, it makes what you said seem true. If they let you live, they can always accuse you of being crazy. He wound up taking his own life. Where? where? Yeah. Yeah. His health was failing him, getting older. And it's just like that life is very, the life of exposing extreme corruption all the time and being right about it is very scary. It's a horrible life. You got to be willing to kill a motherfucker. Yeah, it's just a horrible life. And to go from being a guy who's a narcotics officer in L.A. and discovers that and just gets dragged down this rabbit hole. Just see the movie Collapse, though. It's pretty interesting. See if you've got a trailer. Yeah. It's like no CIA agent has gone to prison for cocaine trafficking. Weird. And they, that's, how, that's how it gets here. Weird. That's crazy. Weird. Yeah. Uh, Freeway Ricky Ross, he's been on the podcast a couple of times, too. And he's, he's the guy who was selling it in South Central Los Angeles. He didn't even know what, a, what he was a part of, that he was funding. Maybe.